because muskox look super shaggy. Do they always look like that? Like they could really use a good combing. To best answer your question, let's first talk a bit about muskox. Muskox live on the tundra of the high Arctic. This is a harsh environment and to protect themselves from cold temperatures, blowing snow, and a lack of protection from things like hills, mountains, or even trees, the muskox has evolved some physical adaptations to not only survive, but to also thrive. Today, I'm going to focus on one of those adaptations, and that is their hair coat. Muskox sport long guard hairs that reach all the way down to their hooves. This acts as almost a weatherproofing. It keeps the wind, snow, and ice out. Kiviet is the underlayer hair, a soft, warm, fleecy undercoat. The two layers, guard hair and kiviet, work together to keep the muskox warm and dry through the long Arctic winter, which can last up to eight months. During spring, the muskox shed their kiviet, otherwise they run the risk of overheating. The kiviet comes off in long, dense layers, sometimes blowing in the wind, and makes them appear straggly and patchy. The kiviet gets caught in the environment on rocks and bushes. Other animals like ground squirrels and birds will gather it to line their nests. Humans are another animal who will gather kiviet, but we gather it in order to knit. This is a warm, soft, fine fiber and while we can knit with 100% kiviet, it is often blended with other fibers, such as sheep's wool. Adaptations like kiviet and guard hair must be working because muskox have survived since the last ice age. Now that's impressive. We thank you for joining us today and for all the support you have given us. If you enjoyed this video, consider a donation. You can do so by going to yukonwildlife.ca support. Thank you.